Hello everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni. I am here to discuss NordVPN versus ExpressVPN for VPN Mentor. I am a writer, general tech guy, and sometimes a web designer, though that's mostly for me these days. Now, before we get further into the details, there are a couple of things I should fully disclose. I use ExpressVPN. It's my personal favorite option. That said, I'm going to be as objective as I can about this. I should also tell you that I will be going through a lot of things pretty quickly in this video. Um, where I'm trying to keep it fairly simple and fairly quick. If you want more details and you want to see the results of all our tests, you should check out the full Express VPN review that we've done on VPN Mentor and it's the link down in the description. That said, there will be things for beginners and there will be some details for my fellow nerds. <laughs> you know, nerds represent. And uh, I hope you find this video useful and fun and maybe even educational. Without further ado, we'll get into it. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, maybe hit the notification bell icon, maybe hit us up in the comments, tell us about your own experiences. All right, let's do this. Let's talk about one of the most important considerations, speed. We've got both apps side by side here, ExpressVPN and NordVPN, neither is connected at the moment. Now you can just click Quick Connect to get to the nearest server on NordVPN, and you can use the recommended sort of smart location feature on uh, ExpressVPN to get to the fastest server, or at least the server closest to you, which should result in, generally speaking, in the fastest speeds possible. And you can just sort through any country you want if you need a specific country, and we'll get into more on accessing, say, services in other countries later. And the same over here on ExpressVPN, I generally use the Dallas server because I'm in Mexico City and that's fast for me. Speaking of fast, there are a ton of servers <laughs> on both services. ExpressVPN in particular has 3000 VPN servers in 160 locations in 94 countries. That is a rather large spread and we're going to show you a speed test for the ExpressVPN Dallas server while I talk. While we run this speed test for ExpressVPN, I should mention that NordVPN actually has more servers. It has 5,000 of them, but they are only in 60 countries. Now, ExpressVPN having servers in more countries means that there is more likely to be a server that's close to you and your connection. Now, that is a very solid ping for uh, going through a VPN, 66 uh, milliseconds. I should note that when I was gaming, uh, playing A New World, ExpressVPN actually had an average of about 110 milliseconds input latency, which I thought was fantastic. All right, we, we don't really care about the upload speed, so let's go ahead and show you the test now on NordVPN. And now we are running the NordVPN speed test. I should mention while we wait that on NordVPN, I averaged about 160 milliseconds of uh, input latency to uh, the, the same game, New World. Again, I was using the Dallas servers both times. All of these tests are being run on Windows 10. And for comparison, my input latency for gaming um, from a, with a direct connection to the same server was 250 milliseconds. So the VPN actually made my whole gaming experience faster. You might notice that these speeds are, for both services, looking fantastic, especially for, you know, running through a VPN. There's absolutely no problems here. I should note that this only says uh, Netflix Mexico because I haven't refreshed that tab yet on either test. So now it's time to add up the scores for the speed features. Let's go through this really quickly. Um, the greater uh, server spread, or so the greater geographical area covered by ExpressVPN wins it the point in that category straight up. They both had impressive speed tests right here, right in front of us. So, you know, they're both good in general speed. Your mileage may vary and will depend on where your server is and uh, whether, you know, that you're connecting to and where you are and all of that stuff. But generally, they both perform pretty well. And again, I'd like to refer you to our full ExpressVPN review on VPN Mentor if you want to see like all the detailed test results that we've done. I should mention that both services have split tunneling, so a point for each. Split tunneling lets you uh, decide which apps are going to use a VPN, so you can use some apps on a VPN and others, you know, not connected to a VPN, so that's really cool. Uh, now, another couple of qu quick things I should mention. NordVPN uses a little bit more RAM. This is measured in terms of megabytes, say, you know, 90 megabytes versus around 50 megabytes. 
And that's uh, not, you know, a lot if you're on a computer like mine that has, you know, 24 gigabytes of RAM. But, you know, for some people with smaller devices or older devices, that can be an issue. So I got to say ExpressVPN takes it in the resource, uh, takes the point in the resource usage category. I should also mention, and they're not, this is, these are reports from colleagues, so I'm not going to be giving a bunch of scores here. But NordVPN, I have heard reports that it can sometimes take up all the RAM. And I've heard reports from colleagues that it can sometimes uh, connect a little slower. In my tests, I have not had this issue. I have not had this problem. So, you know, your, again, your mileage may vary. All right, that's about everything for speed testing. Let's move on and do some more show and tell. So now we're going to talk about one of the big things everybody wonders about with a VPN. What can you watch when you're away from home, when you're traveling, you know, you want to keep up with your series? No big deal. Now this is Netflix Mexico. This is connected to my direct connection. And now I'm going to show it working on ExpressVPN and Disney Plus as well. And here it is, Netflix working just fine on ExpressVPN. Let's click play and show you the, <laughs> show you the money. You may notice I have the volume off because copyright. And here it is on Disney Plus. Let's hit, a, hit up some DuckTales. I should note that for both ExpressVPN and NordVPN, we were able to use just about every streaming service you can imagine, including Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, uh, YouTube TV, all kinds of things. They all work on these services. You may need to do a little bit of finagling, especially when it comes to Hulu, to find the right server, but they work. Now let's show you Netflix and Disney Plus working on NordVPN. And here we are, I've opened up the same video on Netflix. It's working on NordVPN now, streaming just fine as you can see. And I, it gave me a little warning saying I was traveling on Disney Plus, but same deal, NordVPN working just fine. So with that said, everything works. Let me just go over a couple more things and add up the scores here. Now, they both support streaming just fine, but ExpressVPN gets an extra point for having their media streamer DNS service, which makes it a little bit faster to connect to and stream from streaming services. Um, they both support torrenting, you know, for legal torrents, such as Linux distributions and uh, public domain content on public domain torrents and Internet Archive, for example. And um, OBS and the, both NordVPN both work in China, so they each get a point for each of those things. Now, ExpressVPN is still in the lead, but NordVPN so far is a still a pretty great service. So let's move on to security. I'll be going through this uh, section rather quickly because I don't want to get too technical and talk for hours and hours, but let's just say that ExpressVPN and NordVPN ha both have pretty decent security for consumer grade VPNs. It's not the super nerds option, but it, th these VPNs are great for most people. Uh, they both support a variety of protocols. Uh, you know, that's uh, methods of transferring information. And ExpressVPN has actually um, made its own protocol called the Lightway Protocol, which is quite fast, and I am quite impressed with it. Uh, both services do have options, as you can see here, for stopping all internet traffic if uh, your VPN disconnects. These are called kill switches, and it can prevent your anonymity or at least your, uh, your internet history from being compromised. They both work with the Tor browser, which uh, further anonymizes everything you do online. And as for dedicated IP addresses, and for a full explanation, again, see our review on VPN Mentor, link in the description. Um, ExpressVPN does not have these. Uh, NordVPN does. Um, so let's add up those scores real quick. Good uh, security protocols. Oh, neither service has URL logging. So, you know, they don't keep track of what you, uh, of exactly what you're browsing for. So that's good. They both support the Tor browser. And um, I'm not going to score either service on dedicated IPs because that's a matter of preference. Okay, that was quick. We're moving on now to logistics and pricing and the very last of these things. Okay, we're nearing the end of this comparison. So I just want to add up a couple of points real quick and talk about a couple of uh, features you should know about. Both of these services have browser extensions uh, for both Firefox. And of course you can use the Chrome extensions for any Chrome based browser like Brave as you can see here, you can also use them for Vivaldi, Opera, all of that stuff. So, you know, good to know. Next up, 
I should probably tell you that ExpressVPN and NordVPN both work on Mac, Linux, and Windows. I don't know why I went in that order. <laughs> I actually like Linux best. Anyway, um, the Linux clients are command line, so you have to use them by typing. It's fine for Linux people, I guess. And they are all supported on uh, su platforms like consoles, uh, TV, um, like TV platforms like Apple TV and Roku, all of that's supported. And you can even use them on some routers and you can even buy routers with either ExpressVPN or NordVPN pre-installed. So um, they both get a point for that sort of ease of access. ExpressVPN supports up to five devices connected to the network at a time. NordVPN actually supports up to six. So I'm not gonna lie, uh, NordVPN pulls ahead a little here. Well, it doesn't exactly pull ahead, just sort of catches up. <laughs> Sorry. They both have live chat support, which we have found useful. And uh, here I'm gonna give NordVPN another point, frankly, because NordVPN has better pricing. Straight up, it is cheaper, especially if you pay for a year to two years at a time. So that is something you should know. ExpressVPN, I still think is worth the price, given that I, I pay for it. Um, but you know, I gotta say, uh, NordVPN is cheaper. They both have a nice 30 day money back guarantee. And if you want to get either of these VPNs a bit cheaper or for that matter, um, any of the other VPNs we've reviewed, uh, you should check out our coupon page. VPN Mentor has a coupon page to help you get deals on all of this stuff. Link down in the description, do give it a look. ExpressVPN and NordVPN both accept credit cards, PayPal, and uh, NordVPN VPN also accepts things like Google Pay, Amazon Pay, and cryptocurrencies. I'm not changing the score for that. Honestly, you know, that's a matter of preference. So I might have forgotten to tally everything, and I, I'm sorry if I did. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. <laughs> uh, but I've got to say, in the end, ExpressVPN wins. Though not by much. It's uh, my personal favorite, but I have to say that with a few small issues aside, uh, issues of perform uh, computer performance mostly, um, NordVPN is a solid product. There's uh, there's no debate about that. They're both great on the, in the consumer VPN space. Uh, what you go with is probably a matter of preference. If you have a lower budget, NordVPN is a perfectly viable option. If you want all the bells and whistles. And a slightly faster performance in some cases, I found, uh, ExpressVPN is the one to beat. And that's about it. You should check out all of our various reviews and uh, tutorials on YouTube. Uh, we actually have a guide on how to access Netflix from anywhere via ExpressVPN, in which you should check out. We will also be coming out with more, you know, reviews and tutorials and how-tos and tips and tricks and all of the, anything VPN related in the near future here on VPN Mentor. Again, if you want like the full review and all the details, check out the link and links in the description for our full ExpressVPN review. And I hope you had a good time here. I hope you um, found this video fun, educational, maybe even enlightening. <laughs> Um, go ahead if you and click like and subscribe and hit the bell if you liked this video at all, because we'll be making more. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out. This is